What's up, everybody? Hope everybody's having a good day. It is a beautiful, sunny, warm day here in North Louisiana, and it's got me thinking about turkey season. So it's getting super close around here. We start getting ready for turkey season. It's time to start pulling all your turkey stuff out, going through all your inventory and uh, your turkey best and your turkey decoys and that's what we're going to be talking about today i'm going to show you guys how to bring your turkey decoys to life i'm fixing to go in the attic and uh, finish getting my turkeys turkey decoys out i don't always use a turkey decoy there's a dog on mosquito i don't always use a decoy but uh i do a lot of times and uh I think it's very important to make that decoy look as real as possible. And this is this is a, a great way. So I'm fixing to go get all that stuff out and uh, show y'all how I do it. And uh, if you've got a different way that you do it, hey, leave it in the comments below. I'd appreciate it if y'all hit that subscribe button, that like button, the notification bell. Man, well, I'm nearing a 1,000 subscribers, and I'd really appreciate it. If y'all would uh, subscribe to the channel, it'd mean a lot to me and it'd help me out a lot. So let's get to the video. Here we go. Here I am in my attic. Oh. Let's see where I put all this stuff. There's one. Here's two more. And I got that. I think it's a I think it's called a Primos Killer B or something like that. But it's got the little pull cord on the front, little string that you can make the fan go up and down. It's pretty cool. Here's the carrying case for it. And I usually don't even put this one on in the carrying case, but I got a I got a Jake fan on this one actually. I accidentally shot a Jake. That Jake had a paintbrush of a beard, man. It was probably five or six inches long and probably i don't know an inch and a quarter wide that sucker had a beard on him for a jake but he was a jake all right i'm gonna get all this stuff downstairs and uh i'll meet y'all in the yard and then we'll go over how to really make these decoys pop okay guys so i'm filming myself today as usual but today we're going to be using uh for this demonstration avian x decoys i really like these decoys they're super quiet whenever you're packing them in um they got their own little carrying case Here's the hen, but you can see how dull she is right now. Not necessarily dull, but if you've ever paid attention to a, uh, a wild turkey in a field in the sunlight, man, it looks like they're just shining. So, and here's the Jake. I'm gonna put a little air in both of them. Then I'll get back with y'all. All right, guys, so this is just a quick tip on how to bring your decoys back to life and make them look more realistic. So theoretically, you should do this like the day before you go hunting, but I wanted to do this as a video today. Uh, all you need is some armor all and a rag. As you can see, I've kind of sprayed them down a little bit already, but just saturate these, saturate them down with armor all all over. The 
just leave it there for a second. And uh, I like to just kind of pat them dry a little bit. If you pay attention, if you ever watch turkeys out in the field, whenever the sun's shining on those turkeys, man, they just shine like that. So this just makes them look a little more realistic whenever he's coming in. It just adds a little more realism to it. Look how much better that looks. I'll get y'all close up before I shut the camera off, but uh, there you go. All right, guys, there you have it. Just a super easy, quick, simple tip on how to make your turkey decoys come back to life and make them just look a little bit more realistic. Armor off or any, as a matter of fact, tire shine or anything, whatever you want to use. Uh, I just use armor off because it doesn't, hopefully the dirt doesn't stick to this as bad as a uh, tire shine would. So, but anyway, thanks for tuning in, guys. Uh, hope y'all have a great day. Uh, super close to the turkey season. It'll be here before you know it, man. It's probably 65, 70 degrees today. And it won't be long. There's going to be leaves on these trees and the turkey's going to be gobbling if it ain't already. I don't know. I hadn't been out there yet. So just now starting to get everything out the attic and getting everything ready to go and going through all my inventory. But anyway, Hope y'all enjoyed this video, and I hope it helps you out this season. Y'all have a good one.